Um, today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do mates in one, and we're going to do it on easy. So generally what we do on... What am I saying? Uh, usually the puzzles that I'm doing are harder difficulty, and we're doing all sorts of mating puzzles, but today I wanted to focus on pattern recognition for speed. I think I've been doing a lot of good calculations and reading lately, so I wanted to just mix things up, do a different kind of uh, practice or challenge today, and I think uh, keeping things fresh, you know, keeping things hello fresh. This video is brought to you by, no, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, keeping things different, keeping things fresh, I think is always fun, especially if you're getting tired or bored of your practice. So I thought today, let's just do a bunch of quick, uh, quick puzzles. Before we begin, though, let me just uh, let me just do a little. And that started in my part of the country, so that's all good and fun. So I might have to raise up my mic once in a while to sneeze uh, or cough or to suck snot up into my sinuses so you guys probably don't want to hear that so let's just get started today we're not focused on any of the usual things I'm not reading the board that much I'm not looking at the board I'm just looking for the mates and I'm trying to do them as fast as possible we've done two oh, let's get going I will still keep on talking though um, this doesn't look like a main one but this does alright Let's see here. I have queen. Where does this go? It can go that way. This part's good. Oh, here we go. A dovetail right there. Um, huh. oh, this is just move my queen right to g2 there. Uh, two rooks. This looks good. Hmm. Uh, no, that's not it. Let's see here. Where's my mate? These squares are taken. Nothing to block here. Here we go. There's my mate. Hmm. This is happening, so I can do this, I think. Yes. I want. I was going to say, I wonder if I can do the other one, but no, I can't because there was a knight uh, controlling that square. <sighs> Another dovetail. Mm, does that count of a dovetail when the king is on the side? I don't know. I don't know. No flight squares. This looks like the one. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. What do I have? It's not this. Wait, am I black? I'm white. Ah! Jesus, God. Looks like it's this one. Okay. I'm white here. Um, where is my... Here we go. Some of these I know the name for. Some of these I don't. You're just going to have to bear with me. This looks like it. Um, white again. And let's see. This looks like a smothered mate. Yes, it does. All right. And um, cha-cha-cha. Back rank mate. I don't know what that one's called. I feel like I've seen that one a lot of times, though. This is Anastasia, though. We're going to bypass that first block. Not that it really matters, usually. Um, there's going to be a lot of ums, huh, if, I don't, if I'm not careful about what I say. So I'm white. I can check here. Oh, these flight squares. Yeah, okay, so this is good. I was going to say, these are the flight squares to worry about. I have the bishop, though, on e3. Um, black. Dovetail. Mm, I'm black here. This is... What is this called? Lawnmower? No, that's not right. Is it called a lawnmower? I don't know. Uh, I'll have this flight. This one's already taken. This looks good. Uh, it's not over here. Rook and take. This looks like a back rank mate. I don't know how that rook got there. That's insane. Uh, this is just straight 
Queen's hugging on the edge. Oh, there was a name for this. I watched a Bane Fun uh, Ben Feingold video where he said the name of that mate uh, just recently. Sadly, I don't remember. Uh, this looks good. Um, yep, that looks good. What do we have here? We have that. Too bad I don't know the name of that one either. Yep, that's just made there. Uh, made here. This is another Anastasia-ish kind of thing. Oh, almost did the wrong thing there. I can just meet him from the side there. Um, and then, I love this. Oops. I love this kind of mate. I guess that's kind of a, some kind of something. I don't know what the, I don't know what any of these are called. We should probably figure out the names of these at some point. I'm going to need to take a break at some point, because this is, this is a lot of mates. I don't know how many I've done so far, but this is, it's quite a, <laughs> quite a bit I'm, I'm starting to slow down, I think. And there's no flight squares there. Um, <laughs> where is where's Black's King? Oh, it's over there. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, all of his side flight squares are taken, so I can just hug him to death there. Um, let's see. I'm Black, and then uh, of course there's that mate. Uh, this one's a little nope. That's all right. Just having the Two rooks coordinate with that bishop. Same kind of thing here. Same kind of thing here. And we have this, which is not a hook. Is this a hook? I don't think this is a hook. I don't know what this is. Oh boy, oh boy, if I only knew the names. I almost went there, but the queen can take. Where do I go? In fact, instead of moving the queen, let's move the knight. Let's, uh, yep. Oh, I got that one. I thought it was take because I saw the bishop there. But no, indeed, it is not. So let's take a second to look and see what the actual uh, thing was. He doesn't have a flight square on f8. No flight square here, so actually it's just this. Was this not a mate? Oh, he had that flight square. Okay. Darn. Well, these squares are controlled, this is controlled, so let's just bring the knight in. Okay, well, I got one wrong. I feel like. <laughs> insane chess player. 2500. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. And I am. <laughs> I am, I am your father. I wish. I, I feel like he should have just named himself your father. That would have been great. Also. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, that was pretty fun, doing all of those mates quite quickly. Uh, we can probably raise it to a higher level. <sighs> it goes by real quickly, but since I'm not used to recognizing those, I think I, I need to take a little break, a little bit of time there. Hmm... I'm trying to figure out if I should take a look at some of these mating names while I go through them so that I can verbalize what I'm actually looking at. And I feel like that would be a good addition to this exercise. Um, just because having names for things is always a good idea. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. And here, uh, <laughs> don't worry about this search. Um, man, the longer I keep this open, the worse these things are going to look. Let's say, let's see. Oh, if anybody does know the answer to the manga about chess question, that, that I am looking for it. Or even a webcomic. I feel like a webcomic about chess, I always thought that'd do very well. Um, I mean, I'd read it. So there's that. What was I looking up? Chess mating motifs. Checkmate patterns. Sure. 
That's what it's called. And let's take a look. Okay, so I kept on saying Anastasia's mate, but that's with a knight and a queen or a rook on the edge. Right. The one with the bishop is the Greco. Is that correct? Yes, this is what I was thinking of. Um, the one that I was wondering about was the queen on the side with uh, nowhere for the king to go. This is specifically when the bishop is utilized, I guess. And that's Damiano. This is a corner mate. I don't think I'll remember that. Bowden's mate involving two attacking bishops on a crisscross. So any kind of crisscross bishop mate is a Bowden's mate. Blind swine is that one. That wasn't that was one that uh I just watched a uh, chess network's video on mating patterns recently and that was one of the ones in his first video that he was talking about. A blackburn's mate is a combination of Wait, what? The checkmate utilizes enemy pieces, typically a rook and, and or the edge of the board together with a friendly knight to continue to confine the enemy's king's sideway attack, while a friendly bishop pair takes the remaining two diagonals off. Okay, this is when the bishops are used uh, in parallel instead of like in Bowdoin where they are used perpendicularly. Okay. Okay. Cool. Bishop and Nightmate. I'll never see that. Back rank paint. We all know what that is. This is an Arabian mate. This is what I was looking for earlier. Yes, yes. So, Arabian mate. Anastasia is the one with the knights. Uh, Anderson's is very specific to a rook or a queen supported by diagonally attacking pieces of pawn or a bishop. Okay, so Anderson's mate is the Huggy Huggy, I think. Sometimes distinction drawn between Anderson's mate, which where the rook is supported by a pawn, and Mayet's mate, where rook is supported by a distant bishop. Okay. Huh. So, the Huggy Huggy one, is that really... Maybe there isn't a general term for that, I guess. Damiano's mate seems very close. This is uh, Damiano's bishop mate. Oh, and then Damiano's mate is with the pawn, I guess. And is does it have to be specifically on the corner? I don't know. Double bishop mate. So that is very similar to Bowden's mate, but a bit simpler. Okay, okay. Dovetail. We at least know what that looks like. Ipolet. Ipolet. Epaulette? I don't know how to pronounce this. Let's look. Epaulette. Epaulette. Okay. Well, I said it prettier. Mm -hmm. So that's an epaulette, mate. Is broadest definition checkmate where two parallel retreat squares for the checkered knight, right? Looking at the diagram, I think it's easier here. Just taking away those two flight squares generally used when a queen is one or two squares away. Greco's mate, we have looked at. Hook mate is when the king is inside this combination of the knight and the bishop. That's not a bishop, that's a rook. I know my pieces. The kill box mate. Uh, okay, that's when the rook and the queen are used in combination. That's always a good time. King and two bishops, self-explanatory. King and two knights, self-explanatory. The ladder mate. Okay, so this is the lawnmower. Oh, it is called the lawnmower. Okay. So, the ladder sounds good. Lawnmower sounds good. I don't really care whichever to call it. Whatever comes to mind will be the one. Legal's mate is that. Right. The two potential traps that I always never remember 
how to take care of Lolly's mate checkmate involving infiltrating Black Sphere and Kiddo. So this is specifically when the queen hugs the king to death on the Fianchetto. Uh, Max Lange's... Max Lang? Max Lang's mate is a less common method of checkmating. Oh. Uh... I mean... Yeah! Okay. That's a very interesting situation where some of the flight squares, or one of the flight squares is taken by the bishop. Uh, may its mate? And that's uh, using the bishop and the rook. And then when the king doesn't have a flight square, Morphe's mate. So, oh, thinking about it, by the way, the epaulets mate that was one of the ones, I guess we could call it when we have one of those back rank mates where uh, the queen goes on to the back rank. Let's say the queen side of the board here, the D side just doesn't exist. Uh, yeah, and then the queen is on the back rank. Well, and you have to rotate this 90 degrees. Just go with me here. Let's say the E file is the back rank, right? And the queen comes in and these uh, his pawn structure would be up here. God, what am I doing on video? This is embarrassing. I'm just uh, hoping that you're imagining with me. Uh, I guess in a way that would be a, like a back rank epaulets mate. I'm gonna go with that until somebody corrects me and finds uh, finds a better idea for that. Uh, Morphe's mate. Common method of checkmating. So rook takes, pawn moves, and then rook can take. Uh, king moves, I mean. And then we just go into that trap of a... What is that? A windmill attack? <clears throat> Opera mate. How is this different from the Mayet's mate? I guess this one specifically happens on the king's side Fianchetto. This is just a common method of checkmating. Okay. So the may it's may it may it's mate uh, is a specific type of an opera mate, I guess, or maybe how they happen is kind of different. I didn't know. And then a pawn mate, for sure, we know what a pawn mate is. Pillsbury mate. Okay, this is good to know. Yes, yes, yes. White mates in three moves. So check, king moves, take. Wait, where does he go? Rook g1, check. King moves to h8. Bishop g7, check. Okay. King moves back, and then. Oh, I see, I see. That's very cute. <clears throat> Pillsbury mate. Yes, when the bishop takes one of the flight squares. Yeah, okay, okay. And then a queen mate. I guess this is just a general queen mate. Anytime the queen is used on the edge of the board, we can just call it a queen mate. Okay. And then a ready is mate. Oh, this is crazy awesome. A dovetail using a bishop and a rook. Um, And then we have a rook mate or a back rank mate. A smothered mate. Everybody knows what that is. A suffocation mate. Ooh la la. Okay. Is a common method. It works by using a knight to attack the enemy piece that's combined. So it's like a smothered mate, except we are controlling some of the squares. And the swallowtail is... Oh. Okay. Another one of those carpentry mates. Interesting. Very much like an epaulette mate. Uh-huh. It resembles the epaulette mate. But... Yeah. A little slightly different. The queen and the king are slightly closer. I would almost think of it as a what is it? A dovetail mate, except the <laughs> the spaces are rotated by forty-five degrees. The position is rotated by forty-five degrees. That doesn't make sense to anybody. Uh boy, I just sound like a crazy person. And a Vukovic mate. Oh, ooh la la. 
And okay, that's again a combination of rooks and knights. Will I remember all of these names? Hell no. Will I remember any of these names? Possibly. I feel reinvigorated. I don't know how many we did, but let's continue training. <clears throat> okay, so what are we doing here? This, uh, this is some kind of lawnmower ladder mate situation. There we go. This is a, uh, what would this be? This is kind of a suffocating queen suffocation mate there. This is, oh, that's not the way that I want to go. This is the way why I want to go, and this looks like a suffocation mate. All right, cool, cool, cool. We're getting these names down. We're black here. Where do we go? We go over here. Uh, Yeah, that's just a queen mate in the back, right? Okay. And we're white in this situation. We got this flight square. How do we control this? How do we control this right now? Oh, this is a little hooky hook. Ooh la la. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <sighs> this is just a queen mate in the back. Uh, another queen mate from the corner. I'm black here. So this bishop's going to keep that. And so we suffocation mate it. Now, I guess these aren't really suffocation mates if you're not using the knight out of proximity of the king to check. So I guess that's just a queen mate with flight squares taken away. Queen mate again. Hoo! This is the... Oh, what was the name of this one? This is the other carpenter one. The one that's similar to the epaulette. Uh, what is the other kind of carpentry um, joinery? There's the dovetail, which is, as I said, 45 degrees rotated on position. Uh, it was one of the later ones that we looked at. Uh, so I think it started with an S, but I don't remember anymore. Let's look at chess motifs, ch checkmate patterns. It was the swallow tail, the dovetail, and the swallow tail. Okay, okay, you got me. Oh, is this the one with the rook and the knight? I didn't expect to see this one so early on. Uh, no, I think this is, I guess, more of just a regular pawn mate, though. There we go. Let's see, I'm black here. This is a dovetail. Using my bishop there in the back. I guess if it were, uh, two bishops there, that would have been a Bowden's mate. So, it's like a queen Bowden dovetail, I don't know. I don't know what to call that one. Let's see here. This one I think is epaulette esque with a bit of Greco. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just mixing and matching names now. I don't even know if this is. Uh, if I go here. Oh, okay. Thanks to my bishop on g4. Got a ni nice little dovetail going here. Cool, 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 very cool. Uh, this is very kind of back rank epauletish. I keep pronouncing it wrong too. It sounds like it's very Americanized the way most people say it. Um, this is back rank. Uh, what was this one? This was a swallowtail. Excellent. I'm learning paw. Back rank epaulette. Just, just a queen mate. Uh, I was thinking this, but that's that's not right. That's just a queen mate. Hoo. And then side epaulette with a queen. Side of epaulette with a queen, back rank mate with a queen, 
I don't think I'm using the vocabulary in the right way. Queen mate. <laughs> Pawn mate. Um, wait, what color am I? I'm white. I was going to try to move the black pieces. Looks like a rook pawn mate with another rook as a faux edge. I don't know why I had such a hard time saying edge there. Dovetail. I wonder if dovetail is specifically when the queen it has to be like right next to the diagonal of the king. I don't know. Is this queen's mate? Queen pawn? Oh! Back rank? I'm sorry, guys. I'm an old person. I... And I have massive amounts of uh, indigestion these days. I'm just broken in every possible way. Pawn mate with, uh, with the parallel bishops. And we learned this one. Parallel bishops mating was not the Bowdens. The Bowdens was perpendicular bishops. What was the parallel bishops one called? The fact that we recognize it alone, I'm just happy about that. Chess mating pattern. Mathing patterns. Oh no, where'd the Wikipedia one go? I like that one better. Marr. Also, if you guys know how accurate these are, if they're not that accurate, and I should Blackburn. If I should use a different one, like from Chess Tempo or whatnot, please let me know. Queen's mate. <clears throat> smothered or suffocating mate, I guess, since the knight, this isn't completely smothered. Suffocation mate? Suffocating mate? I don't know. What sounds better to me? Hmm. How do we do this one, though? Uh, looks like a dovetail with a bit of help from my side. And this is just queen's mate. Uh, and this is just queen's mate. Okay, that felt pretty good. I'm happy that I know some of the language for this. I don't know if I'm using the language or terminology correctly. There's probably a distinct name for any of the combination of the mating patterns, like when I've done a dovetail, but with some of the squares controlled by my own pieces. There's probably a name for that, right? I don't know. But I don't think you just go around just connecting words like a Bowden's mate with a dovetail queen mate and say, oh yeah, that's a Bowden's dovetail queen mate. Or maybe people do. I don't know. I haven't been to... Uh, <clears throat> I guess that's something I could ask if I go to a OTB at some point uh, in the near future. I guess that is something that's kind of interesting. I got my first vaccine shot today, so 21 days and I'll be all vaccinated and then... Uh, yeah, hopefully when the um, cases in Eugene uh, kind of slow down, hopefully I can make it up to Portland for an OTB sometime soon. That would be very, very exciting. So I feel like we're doing pretty good on easiest. So let's let's kind of move it up one. And we're, so doing, we're doing maiden ones. Still doing maiden ones, but we're doing it... We're doing it on easier, and let's see if we have the ability to do so. Looks like this is just kind of a... Oh, and that one that Bane Feingold mentioned. I still didn't find that one where the rook is, there's one rook on one side and the queen or a rook on the other side instead of both of the pieces being there for like a ladder mate or a lawnmower. I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, that was very kind of lawnmower esque. This is very lawnmower esque as well. Uh, this is a queen's mate with a pin. That's delicious. Uh, I'm not white, I'm black. <laughs> Uh, I was going to try to move this queen to... I, I don't know what I was trying to do there. Uh, I was thinking queen here on f1, but then there's that flight square, so that's... 
clearly not the way to go. There's a potential smothering here. Oh, this is interesting. So queen controls this uh, back rank. The bishop controls this diagonal. Uh, the knight has to move, retaining control over the g3 square while also putting the king into a suffocation. Okay. <coughs> this looks like a pawn mate via a faux back rank there. Faux edge. Am I black? I am black. Is this a pawn mate? This looks like a pawn mate. Okay. These are controlled. The flight square is there. Here we go. Dovetail. Excellent, excellent. Uh, queen over here. I guess this is just queen mate. I don't know. Was there a name for this? It's like a hook with a queen. It's, I don't know. Some of these I feel like I probably am misattributing them, mislabeling them. But I, I, I think that's par for course with this channel so far. Dovetail, just inaccurate information all the time. Let's see. There's this one. It's kind of like the uh, having the rook in the back. Don't remember what those were called. I don't necessarily know if I want to know. I do want to know later, though. Not important right now. Um. <coughs> so the queen controls these squares. There's a flight square here. If I do this, there's no blocks. But this square is still open. This one's tricky. I'm not exactly sure how I'm supposed to checkmate him from this position in one move. Oh, of course. This pawn also controls the g5 square. Ah, all right. So this is just epaulette. Cool, 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 cool. Epaulette on the side, baby. Uh, queen's going to move. Or maybe queen doesn't have to move. Maybe we just push this here. And this is kind of a... Uh, what do you call this? A blind swine. Oh, I didn't see the... Uh, <laughs> I was so busy trying to remember the name, I didn't see two pieces controlling that square. How embarrassing. I guess going lawnmower actually works better. There's a faux edge here, and then the uh, there's a defense there. Wow, 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 wow. Gay embarrassado. That means I'm pregnant. Very good. Okay, again, a queen mate with a pin. Very, very good. Uh, am I white? I'm white. Okay. What do I have? Not a lot of pieces. Got a dovetail, though. Nice. Not a lot of pieces, but got a dovetail. Story of Bao Kim. Dovetail again. <coughs> no, crap, I said my real name. Oh, no. Oh, that's probably going to come bite me in the ass six years from now, somehow. Uh, pawn mate? Pawn mate? Yes, pawn mate. Cool, cool, cool. There's a queen's mate in the back. Nice huggy huggy time. Uh... Knight mate? Suffocation? Oh, but there's a uh, suffocation this way? Yes. <laughs> are you? <laughs> I feel like people are going to be annoyed by this voice. I'll keep doing it, though. No, I won't. I'll stop doing that. Hmm. Just queen here? That can't be right. There's way too many flight squares. Mm, so over here... This pawn controls that, this pawn controls that, so it's like a imaginary epaulette kind of situation. Keep feeling like I'm about to say epilepsy. This is just back rank. Rook, mate. <sighs> okay, this looks pretty good. This is a, a uh, what is it, swallowtail situation. But with my bishop. And, um, 
pretty good control here. No fly here. So this is another dovetail. Okay, okay. And then how do we do this? Because I was thinking at first just trying to do a lawnmower, but he can't go there, but he can go there. And this rook is kind of a uh, scary place. I don't like it. I think this is good, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just a queen's mate there. Ooh! Ooh, here we go! We have an excuse to go back and figure out the name for this again. Because we finally got to use it. The bishop and the rook combo on the back rank. On the king's side, with his pawn shield broken, that was exactly what that Wikipedia article said. Alright, sure. Let's go back here. <clears throat> And the name of that thing that we saw was... What was the two bishops parallel again? Oh, I don't want that. Anyway, I'll be back for you. I'll be back for my answers for that. Where are you? Here we go. The opera is the common one. And the Mayat's may may mate. I never really need to learn how to pronounce that. Carl Mayet. Mayet? Maye? Maye? Last T is silent usually in French. But this is German. Champion of France. Mm. How do you guys think this name is pronounced? Hmm. Nope. That didn't, that didn't. Well, there's the German chess guy. How do you think King's Pressure pronounces it? Let's see. I'm curious. King's Crusher. Please don't. Oh no. My volume is incorrect. He's one of the top players in the world, along with Paul Morphy. This play, this game was played against Cole Maye. May okay. All right, let's get out of the video before I'm demonetized. This video, I don't think is. Wait, is this video monetized? Have my videos been monetized? Have I been getting getting sweet sweet YouTube money? No, not popular enough. Um, so was this a Maye May situation or was this an opera mate situation? Uncastled king. Oh, this has to be with an uncastled king. Okay. Okay, so this was a Maye situation. It sounds wrong for me to say that. Maye. 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 Anyway, let's keep on going. This is a queen hook situation. Oh, no, I didn't think about this. I was too... I was too anxious and too happy. Um. So let's take a... Darn second here to just do a dovetail instead of trying to do a mate pattern that doesn't exist. Well, wonders never cease. Here is not the thing because there's a flight square here, but here is just a hug to death. Queen's mate. This definitely looks like there's some smothering going about here, right? Or some suffocation. It's horrifying. Um, or, whew, boy, I was just, just about to try it. Uh, epaulette, but that that doesn't look good. This looks good though. Yes, here's that queen hook that I wanted. It's a queen and a knight. I don't know what it's called. Damn it. Damn it. I don't know what anything's called. I know. I don't know what this is called either. This would be like a Bowden thing going on, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. Uh, I'll be honest. Didn't think about the knight taking. Didn't see this pin. That would have been a loss on my part if that... Whatchamacallit wasn't there. I know names of things. Not really. <clears throat> 
Bishops. That's what I was thinking of. Holy God, that's embarrassing and sad. Um, yeah, this looks good. Not exactly sure which one this would be. I guess this is just a combination of a knight, a rook, and a bishop. I feel like there was a name for that that we saw, but I do not remember. Is this a pawn mate? This looks like a pawn mate. Okay. And this is a back rank mate. Alright. So, I can, yeah, this is fun, and I can do this for a bit longer, but I, I feel like this is probably not as challenging for me. Maybe I should take it up another notch. Doing maiden ones, I feel like, is good. I think next time we'll start on normal and just see what kind of normal maiden ones we're getting. Um, but yeah, it's kind of good to diversify my exercising. Uh, of course, at my level, I think just going back to calculations more than these rapid recognitions is better. But I think having a... What is it? A diversified meal? That's not right. A diversified diet? No, that's not the right word. Anyway, having a diet of exercises of all different sorts of skill improvements, I think, is good in general. So I'll do this once in a while, I think. Maybe next time. Maybe I still won't feel like calculating next time. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed learning about mates with me and watching me just breeze through all of these, psh, such a pro here. Let's see how many I got wrong today. Uh, maybe I should just make my calculation easier by doing six more puzzles. Instead of just counting like a human being. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? The swallowtail. Uh, queen. <laughs> this is kind of epiletish. Back rank epiletish. Oh, wait. I thought I just had to do six more. Oh, this just keeps hiding more of them. All right. I'm stopping doing it. I thought it was just going to fill up and then I could count. But obviously that's not the case. It looks like there is seven to two squares, eight squares to a board divided by four times seven twenty eight. So there's twenty of these twenty eight of these check marks on the side. Three of them here, so three times twenty eight is uh what is three times eight again? Twenty four. So that is uh three times two is six. Eighty four. There's eighty four puzzles here. That does not sound right. And then Seven per each of these. One, two, three. Uh, twenty-one. So eighty-four, twenty-one, hundred and hundred and five minus one ish. I should have just counted. Should have just counted how many there were here. Hundred twenty-five. Hundred. Hundred and five is what I meant to say. Yeah, hundred and five. Did I really do 105 of these? I don't believe it. I feel like my calculations are completely off. Uh, I guess that's what everybody's here for, though. Just terrible, bad calculations and wrongness and calculations of logic and math as well. But yeah, feels like I did a pretty good amount of them. Um, now that I've embarrassed myself in counting as well as chess, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.